Most of us are familiar with the standard Gantt charts, where you have one single bar per row. I think you all can imagine those. But what happens if you have these tasks where you would like to have them multiple time reappear? So multiple bars on a single row. Well, guess what? The Power Gantt chart allows you to do this. And in this short video, I'll show you how. Before we go into the details of having multiple bars on a single line, let's first look at the default behavior. So here we have seven phases or seven tasks with each of their, their own start and end date. And as you can imagine, if I put my mouse on any of those bars, I'll see the exact start and the exact end date related to this activity, which is in this case the create high level design. If we have a look at the data first, let's, uh, let's look at what kind of data is uh, beneath this. So as you can see here, we have a table, a very straightforward table with an ID for each of the tasks or phases. Then we have a description that we saw already in the, uh, in the Power Gantt. We have a start and end date, obviously. And there is also this column called phase type. Again, could be any column name there. Uh, and apparently it's the, it's the role that performs that. And uh, what we can do in the visual itself is that we can actually apply, for instance, coloring based on that property. So what we can do is we can go to the visual, then uh, we see that there is this uh, a bucket here which uh, allows us to specify a legend. And if I add data there and I go to a single waterfall and I say this is the face type, you'll see that every... Um, type of uh, face will like, get their own color. So the light blues are the analyst and the designers are the dark blue ones, the orange ones for the developer and the purple one for the deployment. But again, this is standard behavior. This is probably what you're already used to. But now the thing is, how can we get this chart to show us multiple bars per row? So now we have one bar for each row, but I want to have multiple. Maybe it's a recurring activity or maybe uh, this is an activity that happens a lot. For instance, here, this is a class classical waterfall, but maybe I'm doing it in sprints and I have multiple times that I do business requirements and functional requirements, etc., and I wanna show them all in one Gantt. Obviously, we can make separate uh, rows for it, but that makes our list very long. So how can we show this on a more compact way? Well, let's uh, go to a, a next page, and in this case, Although the image that you see here is very similar to what we just saw, uh, there is a very fundamental difference. Let's have a look at the data first. And if we go to the data, and in the data itself, you'll see that instead of having one row for each of the IDs, you see now that I have three of them. And basically what I'm saying here is that although the ID is the same, and also the phase name in this case is the same, but I'm giving them separate or individual start and end dates, and I'm also giving them this phase type, which is in this case sprint one, two, or three. By the fact that I have multiple rows with the same idea will actually allow me to put them all on one single row. Curious to see? Well, let's have a look. Let's go back to the Gantt. And in this case, what we'll do is um, we'll uh, select the Gantt chart, and what we'll make sure is that uh, we go into the formatting again. And in the formatting of items, there is a, a single uh, option there at the bottom, which has show multiple items. And this is actually the setting where you can change this behavior. So if you click this from off to on, you'll see directly that our visual will now suddenly show multiple bars for each of the rows, in this case three, because we specified three for each of them. Uh, you also see that uh, now that I've switched them on, I now got this transparency setting. So by default, we'll make the, the bars 60% transparent. And the reason is that now we run the risk that these things will fall on top of each other. Like you see here with development, between phase two or sprint two and sprint three, we see there's an overlap. And if we wouldn't make them transparent, it would be less obvious that there is actually an overlap. You would see they touch each other, but it's not that clear. For the uh, example, I can make that happen. So if I say, yes, let's remove all the transparency, you'll see that the dark bar starts in the, uh, the lighter version, but I'm still not able to see how big this overlap is. So therefore, by default, it's 60, but you can change it to any settings that you would prefer. 
Maybe now it also makes sense to have a clear understanding that we have these three sprints. So if we switch on the legend, then you'll see that I also get uh, the colors uh, indicating that uh, the lightest blue is sprint one and the darkest blue is sprint three. And there you go. And this works with any data set. The only thing that you need to do there is you need to make sure you have multiple rows with the same ID. And then you switch on show multiple items. And there you have it, multiple bars in a single overview. So instead of having three times seven rows, we now still remain these seven rows, but we simply stick them together. Like the functionality? Well, it's there for you to use. So enjoy it and see you next time.